So I connected with uh, President Sidi Endao. Um, some years ago, he was a professor in the United States. Um, we connected at a conference or two and we kept in touch. And um, I don't remember what got us back in contact, but um, you know, once we got back in contact, he told me that he'd come back to Senegal, started a school, uh, started his own university, correction. And um, I thought it was profound. Um, it's one thing to, uh, to want to come home and make a contribution, to maybe start a local business or organization, but to start a university is, uh, is huge. And I immediately told him, please let me know how I can be of any help or assistance to um, help what it is you're trying to do. I think, it's, I think it's amazing. I think it's powerful. I think that there is such amazing talent in all throughout Africa that's untapped. Um, it's an underutilized resource. Uh, the world is not being able to take advantage of the full human capacity of the brain power that exists throughout Africa. And so I know City, I know he's come through uh, and proven himself in the American system, gone through and, and been a professor. So he knows that system. So for him to bring that type of education here to West Africa was uh, very exciting for me. I Even at MIT, there's an interest in uh, bringing more African students uh, to MIT. And the key question, the key issue we deal with is, how do we know they're really uh, prepared to be successful at our school and in that environment? And so that's one of the main things I see that City is doing here is creating a school, creating an environment where students can learn at a, a similar pace and a similar curriculum that we do in the United States, where we know if we bring students like that in, they're gonna be able to thrive. They're gonna be able to be successful. And it's a great channel for us to, um, uh, see students that are would normally not have access, not, not have a chance to really, uh, I won't just say prove themselves, but even learn in the way that uh, engineering education is done in the United States, particularly uh, the focus on problem solving and hands-on work. I think those are two of the key things that are really big in the United States that uh, are not as big here in West Africa. And it's an area where there needs to be some important growth. And so I'm fully supportive of everything that they're trying to do here. Uh, very excited to participate. I got a chance to come and talk with some students. It was a great lecture. They asked such great questions. I, I just love to see the hunger, to see the uh, the attitude, the positive spirit, uh, wanting to learn. Um, you know, back in the States, like if I try to get my kids or the kids at their high school or whatever to to come and uh, participate in something like this, you, you, have to, you have to drag them, you know. But here there's a hunger, there's a desire to learn, and I love to feed that. Yeah, I would, so I, I gave an overview of the research that we've been doing in my, in my laboratory over the last 10 years. Um, but the most important thing I really wanted to stress to them is the idea that, that they come from, I guess ancestrally, lineage-wise, we come from the original inventors of mathematics, the original inventors of science um, and, and civil engineering and, and these things. These are things that are within us, it's part of us. And I, throughout my entire career, um, have drawn from that fact, from drawn from that, and it's been a huge source of motivation, source of pride, um, and it's allowed me to kind of sit in rooms where, you know, my credentials, my abilities, my whatever may be questioned, may not be obvious to those that I'm talking to or I'm around. And I want them to know that, to, to have that, to see that, and to see how far it can carry, because it's a really powerful thing that our ancestors have done that they've ultimately given to us as a gift, is that, that knowledge and, and knowing that that's who we are and that's what we're capable of. We've done things in this world that uh, cannot be duplicated. And we have many more things to do that won't be duplicated. And uh, I think they are the seeds that will grow into that.